Hey guys, just Janny. Today I wanted to show you how I make some of my little bugs. My mom likes to call them love bugs. So, first thing, I'm starting out with a about a seven inch long fork. I have annealed it, the entire fork, flattened it out. If you want any kind of texture, now is the time to do that. The middle two tines are your antenna. The outside two are your legs. So just keep that in mind when you're adding your texture because that'll help you know, you know, I want the antennas, the body, but not the legs. You know, like that. Um, so after adding texture where you want it, um, drill any holes if you want to do the crystal rivets like this long one has the big flowers so I did a hole there so I could do the four millimeter crystal rivet um, if you don't know about the rivets I will talk about that at the end real quick so what we need to know is when you're making your bend, hopefully you can see this. I zoom in. This one, to get this beetle shape, the bend is actually about half an inch from the top of the fork where the handle starts. Go out about half an inch. To get this long body, like these two have, you're going to bend right at the top of the fork, right where the handle meets the top of the fork. And of course you can bend different lengths. Um, actually, let me show you a mistake I made. On one of them, you can see he broke. Too bad, he was going to be really cute. Um, but you can see, I tried to do the half inch and this was a really thick one so my bend ended up coming out farther which meant then I couldn't reach all the way to cover that also my antennas weren't spread apart far enough because that also determines how far down this bend can go so you can see from my mistake why that didn't reach past the end. So, you know, that first bend is important to help you get the rest of your piece. Um, so all this is gonna be on the, the vise, all these, most all these bends. So, we annealed, we flattened, we added texture, added a hole if you want to do a crystal rivet and now let me go over to the vise and I'll show you how to bend it. Okay, now I have, I'm at my vise and the first thing we need to do is decide do you want that short body like the beetle or do you want the longer body kind of more of a dragonfly look so the short body like the beetle we measure down about a half inch so i put a mark about half inch from where the handle meets the top of the body here if you want the the long body you're going to bend right there so i'm going to put my fork in my vise with my line right on the edge I'm not sure if you can still see that, but put my line right there. So we're going to bend the tines over. I have a stainless steel straw from Walmart. So we're just going to bend these out. Now that, remember that the outside tines are the legs and when we curl them they have to come past this edge so they're they're going to come about out quite a ways 
and also I am going all the way down And remember when we bring it around the handle needs to come through here and remember on the one I showed you I made a mistake I had this way too high so there wasn't room for my handle to come through there very well so I just want to make sure I have everything out far enough that it's gonna work right Okay, that looks pretty good. So next, I'm just gonna bend that right over at that line and you know, leave it in the vise and bend it over because I've already annealed this. Oops, I forgot I didn't bolt it back down. <laughs> See if I can bend it over by hand. Now you can do it, What you know, whatever works for you. If your hands aren't strong, or you got a really thick piece, you can use a hammer. Okay, so we're right on that bend. It needs to go all the way flat. So I usually just, I know I'm probably off camera here, get it started. I just bend that over by hand and then we need to flatten it the rest of the way. You can flatten it in your vise. I like to use the bender press because it's fast. I just stick it in there and flatten it. So I'm going to just use the vise real quick because I'm right here. I just want to flatten that the rest of the way. Actually, I think the bender press does a better job. See, I still have a gap there. And that's okay to have a little gap there. But let me flatten it on the my bender press because I like it all the way flat. Okay, I lied. That's as flat as that one wants to go. So you can see I am off center. So I need to bring that handle into the middle so I can bend it. I know I, I have to get off camera here because I'm having a hard time reaching my hands between the, the camera. Okay, so that's going to go back in the vise. And we're going to bend that handle right between the antennas. I'm going to bring mine over just a little bit more. Okay, so just like before, we'll bend that right over and then we're going to bend it the rest of the way down and then we're going to make our antennas and legs. So again, I'm just going to do it by hand here. I know I'm, I'm out of uh, camera view again, but see I'm just pressing it down by hand. You can get it started, you can finish it in the vise or flatten it with your bender press. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little bend in the bender press so I can flatten it out real quick. Okay, all flat. I'm going to put it back in the vise. Doesn't have to be that far down. Now decide what antenna do you want. You know, do you like the, you know, leave it more rounded with the curl, kind of more pointy like a, a scarab. Um, this one I just left kind of straight out and then I curled those backwards. 
So anything you like on those antenna. So I'm going to bring these up. So like I said, this is totally up to you how you want them to look. But for this one, I'm just going right to that bend and I'm bending them right there. Try to get them kind of even. I'm not sure what curl I want on them yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do my legs. So for the legs, you can see that they're bent backwards towards us and these make like little shoulders. So we're going to just bend those all the way back towards us. Hold that up there. Now I do this slow because I'm always afraid I'm going to break the tine off because I have broken many a fork tine. And that's something else. If you're new to this, don't be afraid to break stuff. You know, don't feel bad when you break stuff. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. Stuff breaks. Pardon my dog howling in the background. She's actually deaf and she does not know how loud she is. So then I'd like to do this part by hand just because it's easy. Well, I say easy, it, it, you know, it's kind of hard on the hands, but see how I just bend that around? And then, of course, you know, you can keep adjusting these, but that's the gist of it. Get it going around. Let me do my other one. I apologize if this is not in good focus. I can't see my camera screen while I do this, so I'm just hoping I'm where you can see. Oh, I got my, got my straw stuck. There we go. So from here, you need to decide, that one's kind of pointed out, they'll need some tweaking. Um, see this leg shorter than this one, and this one kind of goes out further. So I'll bend them in, I'll tweak them. But you need to decide now, what feet do you want? This one, they kind of curled up, and I made like actual little feet. This one, all I did was bend the tip down and make that kind of foot. And how far you bend the leg will depend on, like this one, I bent them further up so that he would lay flatter where my beetles sit up more. You know, this one, I put them really flat. I curled the, the little front feet so that it, he's laying really flat. And I also brought those feet in together more. So um, I'm not sure on my feet yet and they need tweaking. So I'm gonna go up here. Now I textured my antenna. So I don't really wanna curl it back and cover that because it's kinda cute. But curls are always good. Sorry, that, that noise was my little deaf dog getting stuck in the dog door. Because <laughs> um, she's wearing a dress. Um, okay, so I did some others curled in, so I think I'm going to curl these out. I use my little wubbers. These are the wire pliers, but they are great for curling tines. I'll put a link to these, because these have the best grips in the world. I love these. So I'm just going to grab these and I'm going to do them out to the side. Oops, it's wanting to bend around. And if this is still really hard, like, you know, I'm having a hard time here. It's a little stiff. You can anneal it some more. It's okay to anneal more than once if you need to. Okay, 
my camera shut off on me. But luckily I heard it, so didn't miss anything. Okay, that's kind of cute. Um, so now on my legs, this one has a bigger loop on the shoulder than this one. So to get them more even, I'm going to try to tighten that up. Let's see if I can bend it around a little. At least want to make them close. They don't have to be perfect. It's okay. But you can see this shoulder ends here and this one's way down here. Um, so I'm going to keep working on that. I'm going to keep working on that foot, but for the sake of the video, let me just finish this one and I'll keep tweaking on the other one. So um, I kind of like the the curled one. That was kind of cute. So I think I'm just going to do a curl. got that one a little tighter than the other but I'm sure in nature they don't actually have perfect little feet close this up so you can see something to set it on so there we go that's a pretty quick little beetle or bug okay once you're done you tweaked it, got your legs and antenna how you want them. I just throw them into the tumbler and they're ready to go. If you are doing the crystal rivet like I had here, I'll set one in so you can see it. One thing you need to remember, which I did not on this one, is that I bent this all the way and I didn't leave room to put my rivet in, put the back on it. So I'm gonna have to bend this back open, put my rivet in and close it back up. So if you are doing a rivet, don't forget that part. Um, I did say I would talk about crystal rivets. So I'm going to move my camera over to my workbench and talk about the crystal rivets. Okay, we've finished our bug. We've tweaked our legs and antennas how we want them. If when you uh, did any adjusting or when you did your initial curls, if you dinged it up, grab a needle file. You can, well, I'm not sure if that will focus on that, but this one got pretty dinged up and this one didn't. You know, if they match, that's one thing, but if you got one dinged up and one that's not, Go ahead and fix that. Grab a needle file. Um, if you don't know what those are, it's just these little tiny files. You get them at Harbor Freight for just a few dollars. I'll put a link to that. But um, go ahead and clean up any dings you made and that will just polish right out in the tumbler. Also, I like to set it on steel block because my bench isn't super level. I mean, the bench is level, but um, the surface is rough. So I grab my steel block and just make sure he sits flat. He's not all wonky. I said I would talk about the crystal rivets. So for those of you who are done, you're not gonna do crystal rivets. Uh, thank you for making this with me. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. For those of you who want to do crystal rivets and you don't know about them I usually only do four millimeter or six millimeter so I'm using four for this because it was small you can see there's a little crystal and it's in a rivet and they come with the little back 
and that little piece of metal there gets smashed down or crimped, I suppose is the proper term. So how they work is you drop that in your hole. I drilled my hole with a 1 16th inch bit. So that's this one. Um, and then you have to use a countersink. I don't know if that shows in the camera, but it gives it kind of a funnel shaped so that this sits flush. And you see that sits right down in there. And you do that on both the front and the back so that your rivet will seat in there nice and snug. Easier to do if you don't have fingernails. Okay, so that just sits on there and you can see it's loose, just hanging there. And Flat Wearable has these pliers and what they've done is they've They've made this plastic piece with a four millimeter divot and a six millimeter divot, and this side's flat. So what you do is put your crystal in the four millimeter side, and the flat side is gonna go here. And you're just going to squeeze, and you'll feel it kinda clunk into place. And you can check, if it's loose, you can do it again. That one's pretty snug. And then we'll go ahead and, actually that, that felt loose right there. Let me do that again real quick. Make sure I got it. That's better. Go ahead and bend that back down. And there. We have a crystal rivet. So I do sell these two bits on my website because they are my absolute favorite. This is just almost unbreakable. Also this one, you can buy these for maybe a dollar something at a lot of places, but I've broken a lot of them. These are both by Drill America and they are nearly indestructible. I have broken some, but I may only break one or two of these a year instead of a month. Thank you for making these with me and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.